Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Just LB, and we're back with another one. So I had a request from a customer to make this George Floyd shirt. Um, they want she wants one for her, one for her husband. Um, it says "Murder with a badge." It's still murder. This is what she wanted. So today I'm just gonna do a tutorial on what I did to go ahead and make this shirt for her. I do have one more to make and then I will be making this delivery later on today. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure y'all ring that bell so y'all can stay up to date on when I'm dropping new content. So we're just gonna go ahead and hop right over into Design Space and go ahead and get started. Stay tuned. Um, first, we're gonna start off by adding text. And we're gonna put in the words here. Um, for this one, I'm going to use a text called Flash. There we go. I'm just gonna change the space in here a little bit, get them a little bit closer together. And we'll change the size in them as well. How wide I want this to be. Okay. And then we're going to add text again. We're going to put the last part. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this down out the way so we can see it better. And for this text, I'm going to use, we're going to use Farfell Pencil. I'm going to click on that. Boom. And I'm going to do the same thing for this. Just get the spacing a little bit better here but we clearly can't go too close. So what I can do here is, we can ungroup these letters and I can move each letter individually if I would like to. And then once you get it to the way that you like it, just select everything again. And you can group it back together. Then now you can adjust this up. Oh. I forgot one of the letters, so we're going to go ahead and undo that. We're going to just make sure we get everything together and group it together. Now when I go to size it, just size it down to whatever size you would like. Um, we're going to add image, and you can just search for image. I think I'm going to put in police to find the police badge that I want. We're going to use this one. And I will be doing this one in yellow. So I'm going to just go ahead and just size it to what I think I would like it to be. And we're going to change the color on this one to yellow. Just like that. And last but not least, um, I already have this image uploaded into my design space. So we're going to wait, go to Uploads. And it's right here. But I did get this image from Google. I just Googled his name. I just Googled George Floyd PNG file and downloaded this right off of Google. So this is what a customer has requested for me to make for them. We're, we, we're gonna go ahead and set this up to cut out and then we'll be right back while the machine cuts out. I will be using Easy Weed. Caesar HTV for all my lettering and the actual picture will be um, a print and cut and I will be using the t-shirt transfers for that, my PPD brand that I always use for that as well. Once you hit make it, you will just make sure you mirror everything except for your image, the picture. You will not mirror the picture of George Floyd, but all the lettering and the badge will be mirrored because you're using HTV for that. Okay, so my Cricut had just finished cutting out all my materials. So I have my George Floyd pictures here. I have my words here and my badges here. I do have double of everything because I am doing two of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the weeding. And once I'm done, we'll go ahead and put these on the shirt. 
All right, we're gonna get the first shirt prepped and ready to go. My heat press has just warmed up to the temperature that I need it to be. So we're gonna go ahead and just press the shirt one good time to get the extra moisture out of the shirt. So because I have so many pieces to put on here, I'm not gonna give it its final press until I get everything on there. So I'm gonna give everything a short press just to get it stuck down onto the shirt. And then once I get everything down, I give it its final press that will finish it off there. And I'm probably gonna slide this up underneath of it just a little bit, like I did before, just so I can get the center lined up properly. I'm just gonna slide my badge underneath here as well, just so I can get this lined up perfectly the way I want it, so it's not too off center. Just give this a quick little press, just enough to get it stuck down. So we'll just do it like that for now. my badge down. I'm gonna press this side. So my white vinyl is the Cricut Everyday Vinyl and my yellow vinyl on is actually Caesar. Caesar is way easier to work with. See how easy that just peels right up? No problem. That's what I prefer to work with but I just did not have any more Caesar in white so I had to use what I had. I'm gonna place his picture down now. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and peel George's picture very carefully off the backing of the transfer sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a piece of my parchment paper here. Big enough to cover up everything so that way I don't mess up my letters either. So once I feel like I have this sitting where I would like for it to sit, I'm just going to Actually, I'm gonna press my shirt a little bit more down here because I feel like it's a little wrinkled still. We'll just give it a nice little press right here. Now I'm gonna come back and lay him back down. This image that I'm using has a lot of little small frays at the bottom, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my weeding tool to make sure that I have them all laid out straight before I go press this down. So that way we don't have any that end up looking kind of crazy on us when we get to the end product. Lay my sheet down on top. And I'm just gonna press this for about 13 seconds. Then I'm just gonna let it sit for about 30 to 45 seconds to let it cool before I peel off this paper. Now I just gotta place the last bit of words on the bottom. I'm gonna take this over top, slide this up so I have space here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press the last set of words on. And then we're gonna go ahead and peel it up. All right, I just peeled off my last layer and this is what we're gonna come out with. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for what I have coming next. Thank you, have a good one.